Hello there, it's Skunk Gaming. Today I am bringing you my very first Let's Play of Digimon Story Lost Evolution. Uh, this would be actually my favorite game in uh, all of the Digimon Story series. Um, pretty much the first Japanese Digimon game I played was Digimon Story Moonlight. Uh, I beat that. My second I've completed was Digimon Cyber Sleuth. That was an amazing, amazing game, and thank goodness it was finally localized. And uh, now we have Digimon Story Lost Evolution. Um, yeah, I got pretty far in this game. It's fantastic. They perfected what they had in Digimon, Digimon World DS, uh, Digimon Story Lost Evolution, uh, Digimon Story uh, Dusk and Dawn. Fantastic games. Honestly, I can totally nerd out, but uh, yeah, I've played quite a few Digimon games. Um, I'm going to do my best to, uh, of course, not get lost, and uh, like I do have my English walkthrough. Um, when I first played through this, got about three quarters through the game, and I did that all without a walkthrough, and that was difficult, and hopefully this time be a lot easier. So uh, yeah, I'm going to start out, of course, playing. Uh, I always play as a girl. So. So, uh, let's see here, uh, back. so I usually always name my character Et, so that and Katakana would be, uh, let's see here, Et, so, there we go, Et. Okay, well, let's begin. Um, yeah, this game is fantastic. It's there's I couldn't give it enough praise. Um, so yeah, it begins. We're at a festival, uh, Hanabi, going off in the distance there. And of course, uh, we have Etz, which actually the official name would be uh, Kizuna, I believe Kizuna. And of course. Um, yeah, I remember probably about 90% of the Digimon. Please forgive me if I forget the names of some of them. Um, there is a crap ton of them, but uh, yeah. Honestly, I played this game like to death. So, uh, of course, as you can see, the game is still in Japanese. But um, yeah, it's not much I can do about it. No one has patched it yet, but it's still fun regardless. I'm certain you will enjoy the ride. I promise you will enjoy the ride. So, um, here we are talking to, I believe his name is, doo -doo 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 -doo. um, yeah, uh, Hiro, oh, uh, sorry, Hiroyuki, I believe his name is, uh, not the black-haired, uh, boy there, he's actually the cousin of the main character, the male side character of, uh, Shu. So, uh, let's see here. So, yeah, let's continue. So, uh, what I'm gonna do for a lot of the talking scenes, because like, I kid you not, they talk a crap ton in this game, uh, I'm just gonna power through it. So pretty much at this point, he's like telling his little sister, don't follow me, like, yeah, we're gonna go watch the fireworks. And, uh, yeah, we're just gonna go and follow, and, uh, so let's see what happens. Yeah, a lot of talking. I'm just gonna do my best to power through it. Actually, one thing the game really has an amazing soundtrack. Like, you get to like fully experience it once I finally get into like, some uh, wild encounter battles, but it's just fantastic what they constructed for this game. So now we uh, we see something crash down in the distance there, and we hear weird sounds and rustling in the bushes. What do you know? We found a spaceship. Which I find is kind of an interesting take, because, like, Digimon, Digital Space, and then, of course, we have, like, a spaceship. So, yeah. So, of course, everyone's kind of gathered around, wondering, like, what the heck is this thing? And, uh, unfortunately, I can't give you much more of a detailed explanation than that. Of course, uh, back when I did play it the first time, I did the painstaking process of, uh, like, very roughly translating what they were saying, and it's just like, it just took forever. It was great. I got through most of the game, but it was just painful. So, once again, the bushes are rustling. What could it be? It's an Agumon! Oh, 
I love how he wiggles his tail like that, it's perfect. So, uh, yeah, uh, Digimon just popped out of the bushes to a bunch of children. Well, I guess most people probably be like freaking out, like, what the hell? This giant lizard! So, yeah, pretty much everyone's all like, this is cool, and of course, um, uh, Hiroyuki's younger sister is, uh, pretty much all like, yeah, it's, you're adorable. Okay, let's power through this. Yeah, so, they pretty much, they talk, they joke, and, uh, yeah. <laughs> then things happen. Yeah, the big reveal. So I guess if any of you have seen like the trailers for this game, uh, you'll recognize these characters, but um, yeah, you'll see in a second here. So yeah, some mysterious person has appeared. His name is Uno. And now we have Dos. Of course, he, man, he, his nose is like a beak. He looks almost like a rooster. <laughs> oh, goodness. Character designs are very fascinating. Though he reminds me of the Space Marine. Ever so slightly. It's a helmet. So. More talking. Numemon! Which is actually one of my favorite Digimon, believe it or not. It's just like, a lot of people are like, Numemon suck. You know, Numemons are awesome. I might actually put one on my team if I can do so. So yeah, they pretty much book it out of there, and oh, here we have Trez, so you get it, Uno, Doze, Trez, one, two, three. <laughs> no. Um, so yeah, your friends pretty much book it, and they leave you there, and Agumon's just like, yeah. What great friends you have. Like seriously, a bunch of monsters show up and they just book it, you're like, come on, really? So yeah, they pretty much make the new Mon fight us, essentially. So uh, yeah. Let's get ready and kick some ass. So, soon you're going to see the battle system, which is pretty much the same in Dusk and Dawn in the Digimon World DS, or Digimon Story DS. Um, I, when I first played it, I loved it. It was just a great battle system. It's just, it's, I loved it. It was just beautiful, and it's very slick. Which is one of the reasons what keeps me coming back to playing this game. And yes, I will fight with you. Um, yeah, one of the reasons it keeps me back coming to this game is that the combat's slick. It feels great. And as you noticed before, I'm playing this game on a, a ca on an actual 3DS, not a emulator. Reason being, this game is extremely difficult to play on an emulator for reasons I'll show later on. But uh, yeah, let's do a fire attack on Numemon. Bridge damage. Uh, I believe he has like upwards of 100 HP, so this battle should be very easy. Hit him again. Probably kill him in uh, either three hits or if get a crit. No, no critical. Yeah, we got uh, Agumon here, taking it like a champ. Brush it off your shoulders, Agumon. This new one's got nothing on you. So, uh, yeah, we uh, dealt with that pretty quickly. So, yay, stats went up once again. Of course, I'm going to have to go through the process of uh, some of the evolution uh, requirements, translating where some of those are again, because uh, they can get kind of difficult. But, uh, yeah, we kicked the... pretty much, yeah, Numemon got wrecked. <laughs> and, hey, now that your friends have seen that you won, now they come back! You know, lovely friends. And Trez is pretty much being, like, Sundere, I believe, or just like, yeah, whatever. So... Yeah, poor Numemon. <laughs> Like, I feel kind of bad for him. Like, seriously, you have, like, a bunch of humans, like, come and try to tame you, and, like, hey, fight this- fight these children! Like, they're literally in the fifth grade! In fact, the youngest is in the first grade! And, like, these are adults fighting children with monsters. It's amazing. So, yeah, they pretty much boot up their, um, their spaceship here. You're just like, yeah, screw this, we're out. <laughs> Which is pretty crazy how it can fly vertically like that. And they take Numemon and your friends as well. 
no. <laughs> they can't leave without us. Quick, everybody, dive, dive into the glowing beam. That's a great idea. So, now on to the next area. Eh? Doko. Yeah, so pretty much like where. So, yeah. Where are we? Uh, skip past all this. Yeah, they like to talk. It's kind of a shame they never localized this game, because, like, of course, they're, yeah, Bandai America is all like, or Namco, whatever, whoever, like, wants to produce this game. They're all like, yeah, it's not gonna sell in North America, because everyone loves Pokemon. Like, you know, you can love Pokemon, I love Digimon, the Digimon following's huge. Like, they're, they're a very vocal minority, and, like, thank God they listened for Cyber Sleuth, because, like, that was a fantastic game. Like, I very much enjoyed playing through that in Japanese. Oh, here we go. Oh god, the graphics are on it, which is, like, beautiful. 3D models or something else. So, uh, yeah, we find ourselves in the digital world. Um, essentially, we're gonna be, uh, building our team up a bit very quickly here. Um, yeah, I, I love how they do it in this one. It's it's great. Because in, in uh, Digimon Story, uh, Moonlight and Sunburst, they pretty much gave you, like, a set path. So you get, like, the spirit set or, like, the strength set or speed set. And, uh, yeah, like, it, they were your starting Digimon. But uh, you'll see in a bit how this all plays out. And, yeah, they're going to talk forever here. Yeah, any time that would be great. Yeah, I believe he, uh, yeah, he gives me my Digivice. Yeah, Digivice. Okay, so I get my Digivice, and, uh, yeah, I'm gonna go and tame some Digimon and save the digital world. Um, yeah, with this LP, I very much look forward to, uh, finishing this game, because the reason why I didn't finish it before is because I got to a point where it was, um, I needed 20, I think it was the 20,000 or 30,000 tamer points to continue, and at the time I believe I only had 10,000 and some of the missions were really difficult to translate, and you have to either clean like digiplates, which that will come into play later, like crazy, which I figured out probably were, uh, well over 300 plus plates, which I don't want to do. Or I just restart the game and just do it properly using the playthrough. And it was just like, no. At the time, it was just too much. Well, so another reason why I'm playing this on an actual physical uh, game cartridge is that this game's gonna require me to do some grinding. I can't always have my laptop with me, so this makes it easier to progress. And, uh, Tanemon, I'm sorry, but yeah, you're gonna have to die. Uh, Koromon. Time for some Siblicide. Like, oh, Agumon, happy no shame, you're killing your own species. And it's going to be like acid bubbles. Oh, no, fire attack. Yeah, this soundtrack for this game is great. Like, I just love it. Of course, by far, like, Cyber Sleuth has the best soundtrack. Like, I've caught myself humming it, like, on, like, repeat. <laughs> I'm not even kidding you. It is, like, the most amazing soundtrack. I love it. It's like this jazz with, like, a nice bit of rock and swing to it. It's just, it's beautiful. But, um, oh yeah. Another reason why I'm playing this on a actual real 3 is I can do this and not be disruptive, because this is an amazing feature. I don't run into dead ends. Which, unfortunately, in, uh, Digimon Cross, uh, Super Cross Wars for the, for the DS, they took that feature out. Another feature they took out, saving anywhere. They put in freaking save points. Are you kidding me? Like, what? Like, what decision that they? Like, what idea made them think that that was a good idea? Like, they took everything that was good about this series and ruined it with a, like two different versions of a single game. Like, like it was just it was unnecessarily difficult. And yeah, it just wasn't enjoyable. I bought that game also, but I never finished it. I got like a third of the way into it, and I was just like, yeah, I had enough of this. Taiki, as much as I like you, Digicrossing with, like, ridiculous mechanics is not fun to do. <sighs> okay, well, that's our uh, two uh, baby level Digimon down. I want to say get wrecked, but I feel bad if I do. <laughs> okay. So... Hey, Gabumon! 
Yeah, that's what I forgot to do. I forgot to go the opposite direction. Um, he joins our team, which is like amazing because Gabumon is like literally my number one favorite Digimon. Number two probably being like, I want to say Numumon, but it's just, yeah, I'm just weird like that. Um, oh great, I'm going to attack right before I get to him. Well, at least I'm getting scan data off him, so that's great. Um, yeah, let's get physical with him. Because fire is usually six. Yay! Akamon, you're awesome. Here we go. And let's see here. Can't wait to get more moves. Oh, you're crying. <laughs> I'll take you in. We're gonna become best friends. <laughs> oh, you're so adorable, even as a sprite. You're just like cute as a button. <laughs> Shut up and join my team. You know you want to. <laughs> Yay! Gabumon has officially joined my team. I look forward to reaching the end with you. Because, like, literally every Digimon game I play, I always come to the room on. He is my main attacker, my fastest Digimon. Like, no Digimon game is going to be beat without a Gabumon. Okay, so I'm gonna change um, their direction or the um, whoops, wrong one. Let's see here. Yeah, I'm gonna move you. Okay, here we go. Yeah. He's special. He gets to ride in the front, and I'm gonna save quickly. Yeah, guy we want stay always ride in the front. No exceptions. <laughs> okay, got that out of the way. Now, on to the next fight. No, oh, major fight. I'm kind of getting tired of these wild encounters. But hey, experience, I'll take it. So yeah, immediately you can see, like, Gabumon's a lot faster than Agumon. Like, Agumon has some really good, like, brute strength, but eventually I find that Gabumon really starts to outshine him after, like, the first few levels. Well, first few, yeah, like, evolution levels, really. But it's nice that every Digimon game, they pretty much give you an Agumon, like, literally. Like, thrust is in your face, like, here, take an Agumon! So, yay, we have a Terriermon. Oh, you look worried. Okay. Yeah, and here we go with a lot of talking, once again. Pretty much, uh, Terry Monster is going to show us what her Digibase looks like. If I recall, yeah, yeah, if I recall correctly. Um, pretty much, yeah, I was just going to get through, like, all of the, like, what does what, all the kind of functions and tutorial stuff. So, let's roll. So, I believe my party heals every time I come back to my Digi home. So I know it did that in the previous games, but um, I need to double check on that. <laughs> so, now of course you see uh, we have a Renamon who likes to hang out in our digi base and uh, Gatamon that operates our digi farm. At least I think that's where Axe is to keep on. I don't know. I have to check into that. It's been way too long. Yeah, it was like 2010 I played this game. Hmm. 
Yeah, I actually very much look forward to this being my first Let's Play. Because, um, like, I've never really have done a Let's Play before, and I have all the gear to do it. And, like, honestly, I love this game out of... Like, I'll have to say, yeah, I love Cyber Sleuth the most, but I love this game. It's a close second. It is a very close second. Like, had I not got stopped with that stupid Tamer exam with, like, the points that went on, I would have finished this game. Here we go. Oh, let's power through this. They love to talk on this part. So... Okay, I believe I'm supposed to... go in here? No, that's, yeah, that's for the farm. Okay. I see. Uh, whoops. Ah. Uh, I think it's this one. Okay. Okay, I think that's the name of your farm or something. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I think it was the name of the farm. Hmm. Okay. More talking. Huh? Hello, Toy Agumon. Wait, oh no, I see. It's, uh, what set of Digimon do you want to pick, I think? Or unless, even that was randomized. I'm not too sure. But yeah, I'll take them. Can you say no to them, too? I kind of want to find out what happens if I say no. I want to see what happens. Okay. Oh, okay. I see. So I have to take them. Yeah, I got a Doriamon. Amazing Doriamon. Yeah, I got him all the way to Mega in my last playthrough. Oh, he's so powerful. Love Doriamon. Yay! <laughs> Pokemon. I like that they had the, uh, the, um, uh, Sabers, Digimon Sabers, uh, design for him. Because I know the one before, he was, like, almost, like, uh, green and brown. He actually looked like a legitimate hawk, not really like a ninja. But, uh, what a shame. I want, uh, Renamon to join a party. Like, Cubimon's just freaking boss. Okay, so, uh, they're all in. Okay, so right now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take all the Digimon from my farm and put them into my party. So, that's what's already my party. So, Toy Agumon, yeah, I'm gonna take you. You go over to, whoops, party. Yes. Yeah, I, I kind of remember some of these menus. Uh, some of the items, I'm gonna, like, some of them are definitely gonna like, like off screen, like probably translate and see like what the frick that they are. But most of the items you can pretty much figure out what they do. Uh, wait, shit. I mean, yeah, I'm doing that right. Okay. So, uh, cool. I think I got a full party now. Yes, I do. Okay. Awesome. Now I'm ready to take on the world. Uh, just before I go out, so I just want to talk to every whoops. Talk to everyone. Make sure I'm not missing anything. Yeah, what do you do again? Because, like, that's my farm. I think that's all tutorial stuff. I don't want to get into that. Like, how to digivolve and stuff. And, uh, hey, a lot more. And, yeah, this Patamon here, he pretty much, like, manages your ship, which will come into play later. Yeah. So, yeah, pretty much, yeah, from what that Lotmon, I think, was saying, is when you come back here, your, uh, your HP and MP gets, uh, restored. So, uh, yeah. Onwards and outwards. Okay, I think there's a few items. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I think there's a couple in this area. Whoops. Lovely. Uh, yeah. What was her name again? Uh, Wenyamon. Yeah, Wenyamons. And Patamon. Uh, let's go with Patamon first. You know what, I'm just gonna hit him with fire. 
uh, 10 MP value this is stronger. On beast type and a holy type. Okay. I'll take it. Oh shoot, I need to move my guys around. They're in a bad formation. And I really don't want two Agamons on my team right now. You know, once I play machine type. Okay, what attacks do you have? Fire attack. How strong are you? Okay. I'll take it. I'll remember that for next time. Um, this shit. Wait, no, you're gonna resist this. Yeah. Um, uh, most available is fire. Kill it with fire. Hey, we all leveled up. And one thing I love about this game is that, like, you can get, like, shit kicked in the battle, and, like, you can, like, almost, like, you can, like, survive with, like, maybe 1 or 2 HP, but if you level up, you go back up the full. Which I absolutely loved. <laughs> okay, let's pick that up. Okay, I believe those are potions. Either that or, like, um, anti-venoms or, like, anti-poison. Okay. Oh, wait, no. I should use my feature. The feature which they took out of Super Cross Wars, which pissed the crap out of me. Because, like, this keeps me from, like, running into dead ends. Yeah. But I just, I do not understand why they took that feature out. Yeah, I think this is, like, antidotes or something. Actually, you know, I can find out. Oh, screw it. Okay, so I'm being attacked by a Beomon and a Patamon. Okay. Uh, I don't like Beomons right now because so I'm kind of strong. And I didn't change my team, did I? Yeah, I'll do that next fight. Cool, I slowed you. Oh, uh, yeah, I think that's Baby Flame, his signature move. Cool. That should be a lot dead. Yeah, it kills. Not bad. Air bubble. Oh. And from what I've learned, ooh, from what I learned, apparently I'm super effective against you. That was pretty cool. I do kind of want to put Dorymon up there, but I think I might have an easier time if I have, like, Agumon and Toy Agumon. But, uh, yeah, I gotta move my team around. This formation is bad, because I'm gonna get hit a lot in that formation. Whoops, I keep doing that, I'm sorry. Um, yeah, I'll move you here, because I know they do support each other if they're standing, like, right beside each other. But, like, combat-wise, it's not the greatest, because then you find you're gonna get hit with a lot of crap. Okay. And that's why we have the look feature. So you don't waste people's time going and walking into dead ends. Which, in theory, you really shouldn't be doing, because, like, if you were this character, you would look and see, like, hey, this is a dead end. Uh. Ooh, am I supposed to be here? I don't know if I'm supposed to be here. I don't remember this part. I legitimately do not remember this part, but okay, I'll roll with it. Oh. Okay, I see. I have to jump down for some other area. Okay. That means I go this way. Wait, do I? No, I don't. Okay, I'll take these two out. That's, you know, uh, yeah, I need the experience. Uh, don't want to be under leveled. Yeah, I'm gonna take you out. Yeah, slow you. Good. Okay. Get you another baby flame. Hopefully this should kill. Almost. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna see if I can one-shot you. Almost. Probably one more level I can one-shot these guys. Yeah, that's what that's right, got me. Take no shits. <laughs> Shrug it off. Yeah, I'm gonna take you out. Yeah, this game is a lot of fun. I just love it. Like, just playing this game, I'm just like reliving the thrill of which I originally played it. There we go. Once again, we all level up. I believe I got a new ability for Toy uh, Agumon and for Doriamon. 
Okay, so that was a dead end. Um... Hmm. I think it was supposed to go down. Keep going down, down, to the side. Yeah, I think I'm going the right way now. Of course, I don't 100% remember this game, so... If I do get stuck, I'll just refer to the player's guide and I should be fine. Nice. Very, very nice. Well, let's go. we take care of business. Yeah, they're not so scary now. Not that they ever were. <laughs> Counter. Uh, single DM on. Okay. I'll take it. Uh, no, I need to use fire on, on this DM on. I see, though, my favorite DM on of all time was the DM on of uh, Digimon Savers. Like the partner of Chica. And, like how Masu like, literally beat the loving crap out of him. <laughs> it's just like, this is horrible. And I remember in like the English version, they edited out some of the blood that was dripping from his beak. And I was like, oh, come on. Like, that's what made it epic. It was so violent. <laughs> I was like, this is what a man must do. Stand and protect his tamer. Or partner, whatever the heck he said. Either way, it was awesome. Yeah, I'm taking him out. Probably should have conserved MP and used something like lower, but whatever. Oh, that was another item there. So, next we have a boss battle. I'm gonna save, even though I know I'm gonna probably win it, but you know, it's been a while since the last save. And yeah, the date on that is like way off. I've like, I've messed with the clock on my 3DS too many times. Yeah, okay. So yeah, our first uh, real boss battle. Come get some. We know those trez. I'll drop y'all three of y'all. First lot talking. Come at me, bro. 1v1 you. Now, this is like my favorite combination of enemies right here. Okay. <clears throat> so, I don't know, like uh, some of you may have watched like Digimon Sabers for instance, and um, yeah, uh, Nami Bomberman, I believe his name is. He was a bomb in the original Japanese version, but in uh, Digimon Data Squad, which is the English version of uh, Hiyo Resisted, uh, of uh, Digimon Savers, he became a freaking orange. An or- oh, you paralyzed me, you bastard. That's what I killed you last time, I had Kudamon on my team. Okay. Well, let's see what happens here. But yeah, they turned him into an orange, and I was just like, come on, people. Fish type, technically. Uh, I should hate you. I think you're weak to. Yeah, you're weak to fire. No, you're resistant. Damn it. Hmm. No, one of you are. Yeah, I'm gonna target you. Yeah, I need to take you out first and the other ones last. Better not paralyze me. Uh, okay. Oh, you slowed me, you jerk. And I missed my turn, so I'm paralyzed. Wow, you guys are evil. Oh. And you poisoned me. Wow. I don't think I've ever had it this bad before, but you know, of course, it's a Let's Player's, Let's Player's Curse. It's always what you try to do. That's when everything goes like completely Ari. Okay. New Mamon, you're gonna die. Once you get one of them down, it's gonna get them a lot easier. Luckily, they don't do too much damage, so as long as they don't status me, I'll be fine. Oh, he. So I can't swap him right now. I'm poisoned. Okay. 
What's my sonic attack? That's fire. I can probably kill you in a while. I need to get you out of here. Oh, you're still alive? Wow. Yay, got more. You're pulling through. Okay, let's get these people out of here. Uh, yeah, I need a kill. I need to kill new one. There's no questions about that. I can't go with you. Uh, one of you's down, at least. Okay. Yeah, resist that. Hmm. I don't want to waste my turn to use an antidote. I'm just gonna tough it out. Uh, is you're a dragon? No, you're a mutant. But you're a dark type. Virus type, technically. Um. Yeah. Yeah, that's, uh, standard damage. Oh, I got ticker on both of them. You gotta be kidding me, I can't swap out my Digimon either. Okay. Mm. Yeah, I'm gonna hit you with, uh. Fire would be my best friend here. I should do a lot of damage here. Oh, 40. And I slowed you, good. Gotta be pulling through. So I do have some um, potions, if things do get a little too uh, hectic. Don't paralyze me. Uh. Yeah, we can take We can take a few more hits. Like, if all goes well, I should be able to kill the Beedrum on this, uh, this turn. That's if, yeah, that's if Gobblemon can pull through paralyzation. Come on. Pull through, pull through, oh no. Yeah, that won't do too much. Wow. Oh, okay. Um, let's do this. So, Division Mon's gonna be dead. Okay. Now, Mr. Uh, Mr. Orange is next. Yeah, I thought that was the most ridiculous thing ever when I saw that. Cause like, Sabers, I mean, uh, Data Squad had a lot of edits. Like, a lot of edits. Okay, time for a potion. I don't want Gobber to go down. He want, he needs the experience. Yeah. Yeah, I can take a few more hits. 37. No, you're gonna kill me if I don't do it. You're gonna level up after this fight. So worst comes to worst. Okay, so he resisted fire, so I should come at him physically. Oh, either way, it's a little crap on him. Okay, just don't kill any of them. What about Gabu? Okay, poison shouldn't... Oh, you stunned me! Okay, Gabu, finish this. Just end it. Like, I'm... Just end it now. Uh, physical attack, yeah, he won't resist it. Or you will still resist it, but it'll kill. Man... The Let's Player's Curse, I'm not even kidding you, I've never had that fight be that difficult before. Like, normally it's like, yeah, two, three turns I kill them, not like get status to hell and like, have Agumon freaking die on me, that's hilarious. Well, so yeah, took, uh, took out the first boss fight of the game, first real boss fight. So, I'm, okay, good, so I... I believe everyone else leveled up, I think. I need to double check on that. But yeah, a lot of talking. Come on. Yeah, that's right, I whooped your butt. Now get out of here. <laughs> oh my goodness. See what I mean? Like, there is a crap ton of talking. Yeah, you get out. Don't come back. Hopefully Tyrannomon eats you or something. Oh, come on. Okay, so I believe at this point I have to head back to the Digi... Yeah, yeah, shit, go uh, shit goes down at the Digibase. <laughs> Don't worry, Tyrannomon, I'm coming for you. Yeah, talking, talking. 
I'm talking. Oh, something's happening. Hmm. Now here we have a giant spaceship. Ship of uh, destructive destructiveness. <laughs> Deploy the troops. Yeah, this totally like reminisces of like um, uh, Digimon Savers, or like Karata and it's like a GT Gizmo Gizmomon, or yeah, I think they're Gizmomon or something like that. Like there's one episode like Masu jump like like 50 feet in the air to punch one. I'm like, how the heck did you do that? Yeah. So now there's like the great plan. Whatever the heck they are discussing. So yeah, these are erasers. Pretty much like the main enemies of this game, or a variation of the main enemy. So, oh yeah, so yeah, pretty much the basis of this game. The evolution of Digimon or is all messed up. Digimon can't digivolve normally anymore. So what the only way to fix it is to find these evolutions plates, hence the name Digimon Lost Evolution. So when you find these plates and restore it to their evolution line, then you can digivolve into that form. So there's like there's some Digimon, unless you pick up their plate, you can't turn into that form. So yeah, uh, you see now the erasers are all like, yeah, we're gonna be all like Nazi here and like bust up your your shit and like yeah, we're taking over. <laughs> here we go. Yeah, so like. That's what I don't get. You saw like that Sukumon and the rest of the Digimon, they got hit by the same beam and they they died. And so like they get hit by it and they just get dazed. Plot armor. <laughs> Plot armor is amazing. <laughs> okay. Uh not too sure what that is. Um I'm gonna have to look into it after, but uh, let me check out my Digimon. Um I'm getting called my Digi Farm that has no Digimon on it. No. Okay, let's check out my team here. Well, actually, I think, yeah, I'm gonna probably cut it here. Uh, I'm gonna save and save that next, uh, next little tasty tidbit for next time. But, uh, yeah, thank you for joining me on my very first episode of my Let's Play of Digimon Story Lost Evolution. Once again, this is Skunk Gaming, and, uh, yeah, if you like this, uh, video, please like and subscribe, um, Honestly, I'd like to see more Digimon fans show up and enjoy this content, and uh, yeah, thank you once again. Next episode hopefully coming soon. Take care.